Hey, Carrie Bowling here with another trip down the tracks on the grade and hope you're doing well. We're featuring another great locally produced album from here in Palmer, Alaska by the group known as Wax and Rosewood. The album is titled 12 and I'll be talking to band members Stefan Marty and Anthony Hastings about the album. But first, let's hear the first cut from 12 titled November. You're on the grade. Death by sharing things Torn up by my own hands I've been playing games Losing touch with who I am I don't remember this Is it happening again? Tripped on a silly street Killed by a confetti gun Lost a trial like race Fell and bit my own tongue Missed and cracked the egg Getting darker to my detriment. It's November and we're parting ways. Plants will grow again, remove their blankets of snow. And stretch their hands Going places that are known No survivors here We die alone Vent the daylight grave Grains of sand hiding my eyes Bridge the casket seal Hop around the That was a song by the local band Wax and Rosewood, and I am really pleased to have with me by phone two members of the band, Stefan Marty and Anthony Hastings. Welcome, guys. Hey. Thank you. So before we get into talking about this album, which is really, really a fine piece of work, I'd like for you to tell us a little bit about yourselves. Now, Stefan, I know I interviewed you before about another album you collaborated on called The Color Room. Yeah. Uh, but for folks who didn't hear that, give us a little background on yourself and how you got into music. What's what's funny about this entire collaborative process is that me, Anthony, and Brian, who we interviewed last time, were all kind of a part of this weird music scene in in Alaska when we were, you know, a lot younger. And so uh, that that really kind of got me into writing. And uh, it's it's honestly just by happenstance and you know really cool luck that we we got connected and started recording again um so yeah if you, if you guys haven't checked out the color room it's i think it's on itunes right anthony definitely yep but yeah so that's that's kind of how i got into it just um just as a kid learning the guitar and uh from there the love grew <laughs> okay and anthony now i haven't interviewed you before but i know your name as a contributor on several other locally produced albums like the color room so tell us a little bit about yourself as stefan said that we were in kind of a, a the music scene at the same time when we were teenagers and so i when i was younger that was my main focus was i grew up singing with my family and so I, my whole goal was to uh to be a singer in a rock band 
And then as I got older, I started to um, become more aware of there was a bunch of different roles that were being filled on like my favorite album, that there's a whole credit list of people that work on stuff. And so I started to get a little bit more interested in all of those different roles and understand them enough that I could step into each of those in the smallest way I could, could possible. Also, Brian and I have worked together since that time. For the last like 10 years, we've pretty much just been experimenting with sound and with music and different genres and um, filling those different roles in music. And the Brian you're talking about for our audience is Brian Daniels. Is that right? Yeah. And so real briefly, Stefan, what what were some of your influences? You know, it, it's definitely been a wide range of musical in- influences. Everything from, you know, choral acapella to post-hardcore screamo metal. But currently, I'd say my, my main musical influences are, you know, alternative bands like uh, William Fitzsimmons, uh, City in Color. You know, honestly, those are my main two influences just in, in writing and in uh, production in general. And Anthony, how about you? I guess I would say, of course, it's kind of like a, everyone says, but the Beatles is for songwriting especially, but, you know, also all of the firsts in music, just the way that that entire team works together. Also, anything that Danger Mouse produces is like a really influential to me. Okay, so let's listen to another cut from the album 12 by Wax and Rosewood right here on The Grade, and we'll be back with Stefan Marty and Anthony Hastings to talk a little bit more.
Okay, you're on the grade. I'm Kerry Bowling, and I'm talking with Stefan Marty and Anthony Hastings of Wax and Rosewood, who have just completed a great album entitled 12. So, Stefan, is this Wax and Rosewood's first album? Yes, it is. And how did it come about? Well, it's, it's a little bit of a long story, so I'll try to, to tighten it up. As we've mentioned before, you know, we were, I was a part of the music scene when I was a teenager. There were some events in my life that kind of kind of got me out of the music scene in a way, uh, just because it, it started to create a, a bad taste in my mouth. You know, I would be lying if I if I said it, it didn't cause some depression as a result. I eventually got hooked up with some really great people in my life, and they encouraged me as a way to progress out of this time to, to use music as a way to process life just one chunk at a time. And they encouraged me to give yourself a goal and stick with it. And so I decided to use the year as my goal. I said, I'm going to write one song a month uh, for a full year. And, and so that's what I did. And 12 is the result of that. Uh, that's kind of a, the short version of that story. Yeah, yeah. so it sounds it sounded like it was a pretty therapeutic process. And, and Anthony, a question for you. Uh, from the album credits, it looks like you did some synth and percussion and sound engineering. And how did uh, you get involved with the project? Whenever we did the, the color room, I became involved through Brian, because uh, Brian and I, you know, we kind of are like a package deal at this point, like we're kind of co-producers, <laughs> if you will. And so um, after we did the color room, that, that kind of became a resume, if you will, to, to showcase kind of how we work. Brian and I, and then also what can kind of come out with of working with us. So yeah, I think that that is what gave uh, Stefan maybe the confidence or, the, or feeling comfortable he could ask us to help bring this album into uh, into reality. Yeah. So Stefan, was this a learning experience for you, and in what way? Absolutely. I think writing music, just in general, is always a learn learning experience. At least in my process, I start not really having any concept and I kind of just like allow my, you know, stream of consciousness to become the vessel, I guess, for that message. And so that's why each song, when you listen to it, is so vastly different is because it was influenced by a completely different time in that year. And um, as some of you might remember, 2019 was in Alaska, a pretty, pretty crazy here, especially with, you know, the, the state being on fire and it was like 90 degrees every day. It was just, it was a very unique experience. But yeah, so as far as learning goes in writing, it, it gave me confidence. It, it made me realize that, you know, maybe I'm actually okay at this. And then as far as like recording it goes, man, I'm still learning about that every day. And, and Anthony and Brian are just not only incredibly talented people, but just great teachers uh, when it comes to the sound engineering and recording process. I, I, I feel like I become enlightened every time we work together. So that's an ongoing thing. And Anthony, how about for you? As far as like the learning experience, yeah, I, I could say the same thing about every time I sit down to, to make music in any way, whether it's writing a song or trying to record someone, I learn a lot. But the most with this was collaborating because for one, Stefan, like, you know, I mean, after hearing that story too, I realize even more so like how important these songs are, you know, to him and as a songwriter. They're re and they're really great songs, and so it was kind of I had to learn a lot about when collaborating with someone how far how far you push a song in a different direction or in or further in the direction that you think it should go, or just knowing when to step back and let a song just be. But collaborating was just a, a really big learning experience, and it will always be, I think. If you just turned in, we are talking with Stefan Marty and Anthony Hastings of Wax and Rosewood about their new album, 12. Let's hear some more music from the album. You're on the grade. Don't have to 
the time With no diagnosis I'll drink her biscuits and wine We're gonna get through this And I don't know what to do I might, I just don't You're on the grade. I'm Carrie Bowling, and my guests are Stefan Marty and Anthony Hastings of Wax and Rosewood. And we've been listening to and talking about their new album, 12, released August 22nd, 2020. Is that right, Stefan? That is correct. Yeah, so why 12? And I should say, for our audience's sake, that each song is named after a month, as you kind of implied there in a, earlier in the interview. Yeah, honestly, did this 100% therapeutically for myself and so i would literally just record a song on my iphone which stay tuned that will be released uh next month <laughs> the demo version but i would just record it on my phone and i would just title it the month just to keep track and uh by the time i got to the end of it i was like oh this is kind of a fun concept why don't i just name them the month and then you know then that's that's kind of where 12 came from i also like have a pretty minimalist style. And so I like single word descriptors. Honestly, if it was up to me, I wouldn't have put the parentheses on the songs. That was a, uh, a group decision with Brian and Anthony that I agreed to because it, it helps people remember what the song is. But as far as, as far as the, the idea goes, the, uh, the writing came first and then the, uh, the concept came later. You, when you get the album and uh, you look at the credits, each title of the song for each month of the year has, in parentheses, a little a little more of a descriptor, as like November is called uh, To My Detriment, and December, Burn the House for Light, and so on and so forth. Right. Yeah, so the songs are really do sound uh, very minimalist and, and very personal. I appreciate that. Yeah, and I think I think it's kind of funny if you, if you listen to it in that mindset, you can kind of see... A, a mental shift uh, throughout the album. There's there's definitely a negative half and a positive half, <laughs> I would say. Yeah. So where can folks access the album? Right now, you can get it on iTunes. Just search Wax and Rosewood. Um, and that's with an ampersand, not written out and. Or you can find us on Bandcamp, which is just Wax Rosewood. Uh, dot bandcamp dot com or just or just search it and if there's any other questions regarding how to reach us or how to listen to the music we're on instagram and i personally check that every day so if you have any questions please don't hesitate to hit me up okay and anthony could you tell us who else was involved in the album and what they did because i see on the album credits besides you and stefan and brian 
There's Keir Childers, Jeff Dumps, and Mara Parks. Yeah, uh, there was featured the color room, which is Pierre and Jeff. And uh, of course, Kier, she sang on that song. Uh, Jeff, he, he laid an awesome solo on that on that song. <laughs> totally. And that song is May. Yes, yes. May. And then Mara actually sang on October. That's that's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, of course, was Brian Daniels. He was present for the recording and for a lot of the, the post-production part of it. Uh, Brian, he's a great uh, instrumentalist, so he played guitar on a lot of the tracks as well as some synth. He just has a good intuition when it comes to songs and what a song wants to be or what a song could be. And so it's, it's always cool to be in the same room with him working on, on stuff. Well, one last question. Any future projects for each of you? I know, Stefan, you mentioned the demo version of this album, but uh, anything else that you've got cooking? So I'm going to be releasing the demo album of this just so that people can see where these songs came from. I'm going to release the actual um, iPhone recordings that have been EQ'd and remastered so that people can kind of get a sense of more, more personal interaction with me. I'm actually already, I'm actually already working on Wax and Rosewood's second album. More, more info coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. That's news for me too. Yeah. I know. He doesn't even know about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So, Anthony, uh, besides that future project you didn't know about, what anything else that you're you're working on? Certainly, I, I pretty much like breathe and eat our musical projects. <laughs> what I do, and so we have kind of a production company, if you will, called Three Thousand Twenty One Productions, and that's what we have several uh, projects in the works with Brian and I. And so we have we're working on our Three Thousand Twenty One, which is the band. We have an album coming up, with, hopefully within the next month and a half that'll be coming out as well as uh later on we're gonna release the square harmonic full album which is a different project that brian and i are involved in and then also we have a couple people locally that we are looking into um recording some projects with them as well i I just look forward to collaborating with more people and doing more interesting albums as well as the the next wax and rosewood very cool well i i hope for, for both of your projects you just let us know here at Big Cabbage Radio, when you've got more stuff to to put on the air, because we are certainly happy to play it and uh, promote you guys as much as we can for local music here in Palmer. And I think, as I, I told Stefan once, I'm I'm always just blown away by how much talent there is in this town. So uh, totally, you, you guys keep keep it up. Yeah, and I, I I'm I'm just so stoked that this like second wave of Alaskan music is coming. And I, I, yeah, we'll definitely keep you involved, Gary, for sure. Certainly. And I immensely appreciate like the chance to allow the community to, to hear the music that we're putting out. So I, yeah. Thank you, Gary. Yeah. Thank you. My pleasure. And on that note, you've been listening to music from the new album 12 by the local band Wax and Rosewood. And my guests have been two members of the band, Stefan Marty and Anthony Hastings. Thank you guys for talking with me today. Thank you. And the album is available on iTunes and Bandcamp, so check it out. And of course, we'll be playing it here on Big Cabbage Radio. Here's one last song, October, and thanks for listening to The Grade.
shaking hands held up by mine, your loving voice in soothe. Let your anger on her use the walls it may build a shelter for those in need. Help who fell.